Welcome back to the channel. This is a VR for Carolina Rose. She had a question and I'm gonna try to do my best to answer it about our mothers. Maybe a funny story or a reason that we brings to mind that we remember them. There are far too many. But just in honoring our mothers, my my mom was uh, my mom was born in the mid 1920s, and she was about five feet tall and raised four boys six years apart. <laughs> so she had a constant uh, control <laughs> of our actions. Let me tell you, she never went to town without a belt in the car, and she was not cruel or uh, in any way physically mean. She just knew that she needed to keep control and sometimes that helped her do it. <laughs> it's hard to get through talking about her during Mother's Day and I waited a while to make this video. My mom uh, was born in December. She died in November and uh, those two months and, and really Mother's Day are a very difficult time as a lot of you know when you lose somebody who's close to you. Maybe one of the funniest stories that always gets told when I'm talking about her is uh, my mom <clears throat> suffered from cervical failures just like just like I do. Imagine that. And so she sat in traction a lot during my uh, my junior high and high school days. She was going through a lot of neck pain, and she would sit in a chair with the traction holding her up for hours a day. Sometimes when she would come home from work. <laughs> And I used to ride motorcycles with the kid next door. Really kind of taught me how to uh, enjoy trail riding, just getting out and enjoying putting one foot in front of the other. We'd ride to different locations. And uh, one day we were out doing things we shouldn't do, jumping them around, and I crashed the motorcycle. <clears throat> in the course of doing that, I, I broke about three or four fingers and I broke my left wrist, um, dislocating the bone. It wasn't compound through the skin, but the bone was pushing up and you could tell it was a gruesome injury. Uh, I was bleeding from my face, uh, a couple of fingers were so crooked, you know, they weren't, <laughs> they weren't in the right direction anymore. And uh, I actually had to stand the bike up, get it started and ride it home so that I could be at home. When I got home, nobody was there. She was not home yet. She was coming home from work, but before she came home from work, she had to go to town and pick up something for me for, for school project. So my friend helped me get into the house. I laid down on the couch in the front room, which was probably a poor choice of places to sit down in the condition I was. <laughs> and a little bit later, the phone rings. The phone on the wall, you know, the one with the cord and the dials on it? Yeah, that phone. So I hobbled over to the phone, I answered the phone, and it's my mom on the other end. What color paper do you want? Mom, mom, I, I hurt my arm. Yeah, well, I'm down here getting your paper for you. Will you what color paper do you want? I needed a board for the backing of my project. <laughs> mom, I, I really hurt my arm. She says, you know, my neck hurts too, and I'm down here doing this for you. So tell me what color paper you need. Mom, I crashed a motorcycle and I think I broke my arm. Click. <laughs> I laid back down on the couch. Seemed a few minutes later, she comes running through the door and turns the corner and sees me on the couch. <laughs> I'm covered with blood. I've got dirt everywhere. My fingers are all in different directions. <laughs> Get up, we're going to the hospital. <laughs> So we always told that story about my mom. You know, my neck hurts too. I, I'm down here doing your stuff. <laughs> and we always laughed about that, me and her. Uh, when I was a small boy, I was the youngest child. So she was still at home working part-time, but mostly at home. And we would sit and have conversations while she would earn money ironing. And uh, people would bring their clothes over and she would iron them. She, uh, she knew how to get that military crease in the back that some guys like to wear. And uh, we would just talk. And I think I learned my appreciation for conversation, uh, thoughtful, pondering, you know, deep conversation, asking questions 
and trying to find an answer for it, I got that from mom. Um, she was always up for a good conversation, but uh, that's my tribute to mom. Miss Rose, congratulations on your channel success. May it continue, and uh, we, uh, we enjoy it very much, so keep up the good work. This is Randy, the Ragamuffin Piper. Hey everybody, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.